In this video, I'll create a zoom in transition. My first zoom in transition video is the most popular one on my channel, so I decided to step it up and bring you a better zoom in transition this time in this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, as you can see, I've already got my clips on the timeline, regular clips. And we need to right click, new adjustment layer. We need to add a couple of effects, of course. So, go to effects and presets. The first effect is motion tile, it'll be under stylize add this to the adjustment layer the next effect is transform it will be under distort so add this to the adjustment layer the order matters by the way make sure motion tile is above the transform and now straight away check mirror edges here set output width to 200 and height also to 200 and now go to the middle point here in between your clips and move 10 frames back from here you can hold shift and press page up to move 10 frames at a time and here right here we need to create a keyframe for scale at 100 then go back to the middle point here and move one frame back so that would be nine frames from the first keyframe and set the scale to 150 then move one frame forward from here and set the scale to 50 and that looks weird because of the motion tile effect as you can see then move 10 frames forward from here. So hold your shift to press page down once to move 10 frames forward and set the scale back to 100. And if we preview this right now, you'll see the timing is really off and we are going to adjust this. Select the adjustment layer and press U on your keyboard to see the keyframes. Select them all, right click, keyframe assistant, easy, easy. You can press F9 as a shortcut. Then keep them selected, go to the graph editor here. Now we need to adjust the velocity. So first select the, the left keyframe and drag the vertices all the way to the right and select this one also. So also drag it to the right, to create this peak. Then select this point here, drag the vertices to the left and also this one to the left all the way. So we have a massive peak in the center. And let's preview this now. And you can see that that's a really smooth zoom in transition, but we can even improve this by adding motion blur so we can exit graph edits at this point go to the transform properties and uncheck use composition shadow angle and check that and set shadow angle to 360 that's the maximum amount of motion blur you can get using this effect and if we preview this now you can see that it's even smoother and more seamless so that's how you create a quick zoom in transition it's probably the smoothest you can get using like simple effects without any complicated third party effects so well if you enjoyed this quick tutorial let me know drop a like subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a nice day